We might have all the parts and pieces, but unless they're laid out in a clear way, um, it's really hard to get to that overall vision that everybody's kind of imagining. So you have marina lofts, um, those apartment buildings that are being built, and then you have the metro parks that moved in on, along the riverfront. The Garfield community could benefit from a plan being adjacent to those developments. While most people associate East Toledo with its empty storefronts, broken windows, and uneven sidewalks, not so long ago, Garfield's streets were bustling with diverse shops and industrial activity that made it the model of the American dream. There's a lot of kind of hodgepodge of single family homes scattered throughout, and they all have their own little characteristics. Garfield is home to about 1,400 residents at the heart of East Toledo. Since July of 2020, organizations such as the East Toledo Family Center, One Voice for East Toledo, and the Toledo Design Collective have joined forces for a neighborhood-wide community plan. For the Toledo Design Collective, it's definitely about utilizing everybody from the grassroots level up um, so that we can build capacity during the planning process, and then we can get to those overall visions. The Toledo Design Collective or other organizations involved, we're not trying to impose our own vision that it's really about um, residents and existing and future residents, um, and then also stakeholders' visions for what the neighborhood is. Many on the team are longtime East Toledo residents with deep ties to the local people and history. And they're dedicated to seeing long-term progress in the area, starting from the ground up. If you don't make plans, you will never accomplish anything. And I think that the Garfield plan is a, is a great example because although that neighborhood is in great shape, there's good things happening, you need to be able to move, to continue to move forward. And that means, yes, the park was the catalyst and then this economic development, but what can we do in the neighborhood? You know, what could you do? The, the old corner store that was torn down and now it's an empty lot. How can that be re, reinvented so that the neighborhood flourishes from that? The East Toledo Family Center brings to the table more than 120 years of community building in the neighborhood and they're committed to implement the plan after it is finalized in 2021. We can implement that plan because we can bring the people together to say, okay, Garfield residents, stakeholders, here's what we need from you. Let's gather, let's let's make this happen. You know, in our One Voice efforts, we created committees that, identif- that we specifically said, this group of individuals, if your interest is housing, this is the committee for you. If it's safety of your neighborhood, you can sit on this committee. We bring people together and give them the platform to be part of that conversation. We're supposed to serve and strengthen our community one life at a time. So that means any individual that needs services, program, being involved in their community, that's why it's important to us. And and we're part of this community. We've been here 120 years and we wanna be here another 120 years. The Garfield Community Plan is one more step forward in revitalizing the diverse cultural life that once populated Garfield. A lot of people feel that East Toledo gets slighted or they they just don't see big things happen in East Toledo. Well, we have proof now that big things can happen in East Toledo. And I think with the new park, the development, it's just the cusp of what I feel we're going to see moving towards the next five, 10 years.